This is Film Masters, and on this episode, we're making the B1 battle droid voice from the prequel movies, Star Wars Episode 1, 2, and 3. Now, first of all, the uh, request for this tutorial was from Omega Wolf King 2. He stated, awesome, can you please make Star Wars B1 battle droid voice? Yep, we can do that. So we're going to be doing that in Adobe Audition. Um, and now one thing before we get into it, we're going to think about the way we're going to talk to make our voice sound like a B1 battle droid. So one thing we're going to be doing is making some slight alterations to our pitch in our voice to try and make it sound more like a child, and then we'll speed it up a little bit. But let's get straight into it. First of all, let's uh, go up to wave form, and I'm just gonna call this B1 for B1 battle droid. Leave the sample rate at 44,100. Channels at stereo and uh, the bit depth at 32 bit floating and select OK. Now, when we're going to be talking, one thing we need to make sure we do is a, a bit of a vibration in our voice. For example, Roger, Roger. So we're, ah, it's almost that sound that we're going to try and vibrate into our own voice. So let's do the recording. I'm going to come down here and select the record button and I'm going to uh, put a few phrases into our workspace here. Roger, Roger. Oh no, it's the Jedi. Once we're happy with that, select the stop button or you can select the space bar on your keyboard and that will stop it. The next thing I like to do, always like to top and tail it so I get rid of all the dead space on the end and at the beginnings of the sound file. And I'm gonna trim some of the space in between as well just to speed it up. And I'm just gonna press play and we're gonna listen in to hear what it sounds like. Roger, roger. Oh no, it's the Jedi. Perfect. Well, we can speed some of that up. So I'm going to come in here and just delete some of this dead space here, in here as well, and here. Just listen to that part. It's the Jedi. There we go. So that's another way of speeding up your voice. So you can speak a little bit pronounced, for example and then go in there and just cut the in-betweens. But that's not what we're here for. So let's get straight into that B1 battle droid voice. First thing we're gonna do is going to double select in the workspace so it highlights everything nice and white. So it's selected all the wave files. We're gonna go up to effects, go down to time and pitch, stretch and pitch. Now that obviously does anything with raising our voice, lowering our voice and so forth. Now we're gonna go up to presets and I'm going to select raise pitch because we want that childlike voice and I'm going to make sure this toggle switch down here is green so then when I press play it will just keep on toggling until the end of time if need be but we do that so we can listen in and make alterations to our own voice my voice is a little bit different it can be deeper in some ways and higher pitched in others but for example if your voice is higher or lower you can come in here and, and tweak it but i'm going to be using these settings to start off with you can tweak them obviously in your own time so let's go up to stretch first of all i'm going to change it to 95 percent so that's going to uh just adjust the stretch of the sound file and then I'm going to go up to pitch shift and change that to five. And I'm going to press the play button here and we're going to listen in and uh, hear what that sounds like. Roger, roger. Oh no, it's the Jedi. Roger, roger. Oh no, it's the Jedi. So you can obviously uh, speed that up if you want to. Um, so for example, uh, let's bring it to... Uh, Let's make it 85, for example. So we're going to drop it by 10% and listen in. Roger, roger. Oh no, it's the Jedi. So for me, because my voice and I spoke a little bit slower, I'm going to speed it to 85 instead of 95%. So let's leave it at 85%. I'm happy with that. Again, if you're talking a little bit faster, you may have to drop it down a little bit, but that's the uh, settings I'll be using. So let's select OK to apply that effect to the timeline and you'll see that take effect to our WAV file as they all change, keeping it all selected so it's still white on the screen. We're gonna go up to effects and we're gonna go to special and select mastering. So by selecting mastering, I'm gonna come down to the presets, drop that down to club master and we're gonna make some adjustments on the right hand side for our reverbs. First of all, reverb 
blurb. Let's change that to 20%. And then I'm going to go to the exciter because, you know, we all want to be excited from time to time and adjust that to 100%. And then I'm going to make some adjustments to the widener. I'm going to make it nice and fat, 100% on that one. And we're going to change the loudness maximizer just to 20. Once we've done that, we're going to leave everything else the same. Let's listen in and hear what that sounds like. Roger, roger. Oh no, it's the Jedi. Roger, roger. Oh no, it's the Jedi. So we've got that nice little reverb going in the voice and I'm going to select apply and the end result should sound like this. Roger, roger. Oh no, it's the Jedi. And all we have to do now is select file, save as. I'm going to leave it at desktop Leave the file as B1 WAV file. I might drop that to an MP3. Leave everything else the same. Select OK, and that file is done. So that is how we make the B1 Battle Droid voice from the prequel Star Wars movies. That is for Amiga Wolf 2 and all you guys, obviously. If you want any other sound files or you want to learn how to make other voice effects, please leave a comment below and I'll add it to the list this year. 2018 is the year that we'll be doing a lot of voice work and sound effects in our uh, Adobe program. So if you want to become a Film Master Subby, it's pretty simple. Please subscribe to the channel. You can like us on Facebook and or on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.